Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. We're talking about how to hold a girl's attention. Now, I want to say this first off. First off, she should be holding your attention. So just remember that when you're talking to girls, when you're meeting girls, when you're going on dates with women, you want to make sure that they're holding your attention and you're paying attention to what she's saying so you can see if this is a girl that is worth your time, okay? So we wanna flip the roles a little bit here. However, I know that's not what you wanted to hear in this video and that's not what I wanted to necessarily teach on this video. There are ways where you can make it so you can not necessarily just hold a girl's attention, but actually get her more interested in the conversation, which in turn will hold her attention when you guys are talking. So I have a few just awesome techniques that you're gonna learn and this is gonna be super helpful for you because there are times when you go out and you meet a girl and conversation kind of dies or maybe you slip up and you're interested in her, but things just fizzle away. So it's gonna help with that, which is gonna help with you getting numbers and going on dates with girls that you're interested in. And of course, if you don't learn this, then you might get stuck in conversation and you might be very boring and it might not help you. So what's cool is I have a whole different array of tips that are gonna help you. Everything from things that you're gonna do in terms of your body language and things you're going to say. All right, let's dive into it. The first one, and this is kind of in order too, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here, is when you're going over to approach a woman, so this is an approach tip, okay? So if you're going over to approach a woman at a bar, on the street, in a coffee shop, wherever, you gotta make sure that you are in front of her, okay? A lot of guys, they're so nervous to be occupying someone's space, which I understand, but they're so nervous, so when they go over, they really go to the side, and they're kind of doing this shoulder talk where they're side to side, they're at this 45 degree angle. It's okay if that happens right off the bat, but very, very soon after, you have to be facing her like this, like a mirror, like shoulder to shoulder, like this, like you're looking into a mirror. This is gonna hold her attention because then she can't be looking elsewhere. And then she's not thinking that this is some casual conversation. Instead, she's thinking, oh, this person's trying to talk to me and engage me and have a conversation with me. She's gonna feel like this is an optional conversation if you are just at this 45 degree angle and not facing her completely. So it's okay, you don't have to get right in her face when you do an approach, that'd be kind of weird. But as you go up and talk to her, you wanna slowly be making sure you're turning your body so you guys are facing each other, okay? I actually have a full diagram of it, which you can check out in my magnetic book. I talk about when you're approaching women, how to get to that point, which I just did, but you'll see an actual diagram. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check that out. Okay, the second thing is when you're talking to a girl, this is a little bit more advanced, but you can actually change the speed and the tonality and inflection of your voice. So a lot of guys are very monotone when they're talking to a girl because they're so nervous. So they're just kind of talking like this at this very dull pace and dull sounding voice. But we don't want that, okay? What we want is when you're talking to her, maybe you speed it up like this a little bit and talk like this, but then you slow it down and you're talking to her like this and then you kind of speed it up again for a second, but then slow it down when you're talking like this. And the inflection of your voice should be more commanding as well. See how I'm going down in inflection as I'm talking to you? Instead of like this as I'm talking to you, you're going down in inflection. So the inflection of your voice that commanding tone is gonna to get her more interested in the conversation. Also, the speed in which you're delivering things and changing that as you guys are talking is gonna get her more engaged. Again, this is a little bit more advanced. You can practice it a little bit. It just helps you be a little bit more interesting and deliver more of a personality and more energy and excitement when you're talking to her and even slowing it down like I'm doing right now. Another way to get her attention, because this is going to really snap her out of whatever's going on when you guys are talking to each other, is a light touch to the arm. Or I'll even say just breaking the touch barrier in some sort of way, in a way that I really like to do it that makes it easy, is this just light touch to the arm. So when you guys are talking to each other and you're accentuating something, or you're talking about something specific, you take the back of your hand right here and just lightly touch her arm or her hand. So boom, we've made this connection and now she's like, whoa, here we go. We've now made this touch connection. She's going to notice that. People notice when they are being touched by other humans. I should mention here, 
Please be appropriate. Obviously, we're not going to be touching anything in terms of sexual body parts. So I like to say just touching her hand, the inside of her arm right here, or even right here on her arm when you're talking to her and making a point, and that's going to, boom, bring some more attention to the conversation. Here's another one, counterintuitive here. Boy, do I love this one because it definitely makes it more interesting and it does get her more interest in the conversation. It really brings that attention to the conversation. But I want you to be accentuating topics where you two disagree. Okay, so if she ever brings something up and you know you don't like that thing or maybe you guys are on a first date and you saw in her profile that she loves something that you don't love, maybe it's music or food or something, bring that up. A lot of guys are scared to do this. They want to just connect on the things that are things that you both like. That's very boring conversation. Things are a little bit more jazzed up, a little more spiced up, when you two can actually have a disagreement, a playful, fun disagreement, not something too serious, but a playful disagreement on something where you both don't agree. So if you get an opportunity in conversation or you hear something where you're like, okay, this is a point where I can disagree or talk about something where we can have a little playful disagreement on, Make sure that you take that opportunity. Of course, be careful if you do this too much and then the whole conversation is just disagreements. That's not going to be so fun. So make sure that you find those opportunities, but don't do it too much. Next, let's talk about changing locations. I actually talked about this in a previous video, one that I did earlier. But when you are able to change locations, it definitely keeps her attention more, even keeps your attention more too. When you're changing locations. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're on a date, going somewhere after the initial meeting place, right? So if you're getting coffee, go take a walk somewhere. If you're getting dinner, go grab dessert somewhere else. If you're meeting a girl and you meet her for the first time and you're doing an approach at a bar, take her to another section of the bar. Maybe go outside. Maybe go to a place where the music isn't as loud or maybe go towards the bar and grab a drink or grab a water or whatever. Changing locations keeps things more interesting between the two of you. You can even do this on a daytime approach. I, again, talked about this in a previous video. You meet a girl and you guys are talking. Then you invite her to do an instant date with you. You guys grab a coffee. Maybe you go somewhere else afterwards and get a little bite to eat. But changing locations is going to help keep things more interesting, keeping her attention because you guys are creating these little memories in different places. I know this can be tough for some guys like, ah, oh, Trip, I wish I can just do an approach. I wish I can even just have opportunities to be able to do this stuff that you're always talking about on these videos. And so I have something for you that can absolutely help. It's my program called Hooked, which you can check out at getherhook.com. There's a link down below as well. This program is going to teach you everything about how to build confidence and how to meet women and specific techniques that's going to lend itself to you being better at conversation and better at building attraction with my TED formula, Tension, Entertainment, and Dominance. If you want to know what that is, check it out in the Hooked program link down below. Let me know in the comments if any of these five are ones that you have used and it has been used successfully. I want to hear from you. We all want to hear from you. So go ahead, write that down in the comments below and I'll be there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.